very good morning students in our today's session we will start on the basel 3 norms remember basel 3 norms we had already specified in our introduction chapter what are important concepts to be studied before you go for your exam in which we had also specified you the very very important topic and the concept that is basel 3 norms so today we will go on with the same so we will just start with the first problem yes friends so in this question we will start with the question here with is bank of indians had paid up capital of rupees 500 crore the reserves are 250 crore the revaluation reserve is 100 crore the perpetual non-cumulative preference shares that is PNCPS is rupees 50 crore and the subordinate debts of rupees 200 crore so the question here is we have to calculate the tier 1 and the tier 2 capital of bank of indians and their total capital fund of the respective bank we will start with the solution in our next session so friends we will start with the solution to calculate tier 1 capital of bank of indians we will require the paid off capital of the respective bank plus your reserve plus your pncps its perpetual non cumulative preference shares equal to the paid off capital is 500 plus your reserves is 250 plus pncps is 50 we will add on this 500 plus 250 plus 50 is equal to 800 crores. Therefore, the tier 1 capital of a bank of Indians is 800 crore. We will see the next part of the respective question that is to calculate the tier 2 capital. For calculating the tier 2 capital, we would require re revaluation reserve. Remember, revaluation reserve will be discounted 55% plus your subordinate debts is equal to 45 plus 200 which is equal to 245 crore therefore the bank of indians tier 2 capital is 245 crore thus the conclusion is friends remember 55 percent revaluation reserve that is 55 percent is your discount means we will take only 45 percent of revaluation reserve therefore the total capital of the bank of indians is equal to 800 that is tier 1 plus 245 tier 2 which is equal to 1045 crore 